Very well, my friends, it is time. I extend my hand, inviting you to step with me into fantasy. Release your hold on that which you know to be true, and let imagination rule for the next few hours. Adventurers made their way to Riverstone Manor in the Manorborn district of Baldur's Gate. There they met with Australis Ravengard, the daughter of Grand Duke Uldar Ravengard, who had asked Persephone, her second cousin, to attempt a dangerous mission. Impersonate the very ill Lady Shastra Ravengard at the Parliament of Peers in order to forestall a vote to choose a new Grand Duke. Australis believed that this was the only way to prevent Duke Thalamra Van Thampur from ascending to the seat of leadership of Baldur's Gate. There was some discussion as to whether this was the best course of action, during which the party was introduced to Rhea Mantelmorn of Elturel. She was an eyewitness to the Holy City's fall and claimed that she saw the companion, a huge glowing ball of protective light suspended above Elturel, grow black. She saw its walls crumble, and the entire city sink into the ground, leaving only a crater. She had come to Baldur's Gate seeking Thavius Krieg, the High Overseer of Elturel, who is rumored to be in Van Thampur custody. Leaving that for the moment, the adventurers examined Lady Shastra Ravengard in her bedchamber. Despite a thorough investigation, the party was unable to determine exactly what plagued her, and they retired, planning to proceed with the grand charade in the morning. However, in the wee hours of the morning, just as the household was beginning to stir, Riverstone Manor was rocked by the sounds of battle and destructive magic. The adventurers rushed to defend their allies, managing to save Chasric the Seneschal and Lady Ostredless herself, who was nearly assassinated. Her attackers lie dead and everyone stands for a moment panting. But the sound of battle continues to rage around you, and cries for help ring out from every direction. Gather your courage, adventurers. Initiative is still in play. Silas, it is your turn. What do you do? Oh my goodness gracious. Let me take a look at what's going on here. As I recall, I was positioned firmly in a door frame that is correct preventing anyone from entering and exiting we had just taken down a fellow there and there's a as of this moment unseen attacker correct there are no more attackers as no far as attackers. you know both of the uh Assassins who seem to disappear after each attack have been killed. One of them by Sir Gatherin Stag is in the wreckage of the bed, and the other one <laughs> lies dead at your feet. Okay. Having been killed by Persephone. Um I'm just going to step further into the room and uh announce to um everyone loudly that uh I will, I will, uh, I will take the look out here. See what you can do. See what you can find out. Are you holding an action? I am going to hold an action for anything, any hostile. Uh, I will attack melee. Very well. <clears throat> that brings us to the end of the order and back to the top. Typhon, what do you do? So. We've killed these two attackers, and Gatherin Stag is here now. Do do we? I feel like she is protected. Okay, at this point, 
Well, at the moment, you, uh, Gatherin Stag is quite a, a, a formidable force. He seems very protective, but um, he looks like he's checking to see how sh well she's doing, but that, you know, well, you don't know what he's going to do, so uh, you'll just have to make a decision on your own. <laughs> what do you want to do, Typhon? Oh, um, in that case, I will also, she seems to be EB. Uh, most important person here at the moment, so I will also check on her to make sure she is um, okay and good health. I can't remember what we did to right. her at the end of last session. She was pushed sure. under the bed, and uh, she is uh, tangled in the wreckage, um, and uh, but seems to be unharmed. The uh, healing magic from Persephone has healed the wound that was on her arm. She is still holding her rapier. And she looks into your eyes as you crouch down, and she says, "I'm, I'm all right. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not hurt." Um, and there was a minor illusion cast on her too. Uh, indeed, there was. Oh, I did that. That's right. Yes, you did. Yeah. The, well, the chest is still there. It, it's the illusion seems to have been uh, somewhat compromised by the bed falling in and around it. But uh, right. No. Uh, obviously, let it drop. Um, so you, you you and you also said something that raised my suspicions about Mr. Stag here. Does he seem to be uh, acting of his own volition and in sound mind? Uh, make a perception check. Okay, I can do that. Um, perception. Super good at these. Um, I got a six. Um, he doesn't. Nothing seems to be untoward. Okay, um, then I will move untoward him. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, peer out the doorway I see a dead body um, you do, you see the dead guard and I've <laughs> removed him to the GM layer but there's also a, a dead bad guy okay um, at this point can I I would just like to oh um, take a uh, use the rest of my turn to peer through the senses of my owl oh very good your owl um, is oh, no, no, not there anymore. Okay, it was here. Got a nice 60 feet of movement, I believe, on that. You do. So um, Typhon's eyes cloud over and he goes stock still. And uh, now you have control of Hawk the Owl. What would you like to do? <laughs> um, I'm going to um, send the owl over, over here, 50 feet of movement. Um, is there any sound of battle or anything coming um, from the rest of the house? From uh, there is sounds of battle. Um, there seems to be something. Well, make a perception check. We'll see. Okay. Doing it through the owl, I believe I have is it advantage. Advantage yes. on sight, I believe. Or is it hearing smell? and sight? Keen hearing, and sight. hearing yeah. and sight. So keen hearing, this would be, I would cool. say. Cool. That's a nine. So <laughs> better. <laughs> Not um, good. <laughs> The armor from these two uh, uh, v guards who are standing here, they, they shift very nervously as the owl flies through. They, they raise their weapons thinking it's an attack of some sort. They're quite spooked. Um, they realize it's just an owl and don't attack, but the movement of their armor uh, obfuscates any kind of sound. Uh, there's, there's movement, sounds, battle, and cries coming from the house. That much is apparent to everybody. Yeah. But the owl doesn't know anything specific. Well, shoot. All right. I will move him. He'll flutter up near the ceiling over here at that point, and I will drop um, from the senses and just... <sighs> I can't tell where it's coming from. And that will Are you done, Typhon? Yeah, that's it. Brings us to Jax. Jax, you are in a uh, stairwell behind a secret door. I have moved you to uh, the stairwell in the second floor. Okay. Um... Now you should be able to see yourself the top left corner there. Oh, I could probably uh, hear the stair Falcon. The, the stairs about, go somewhere. the stairs go down and they go up. Okay. So I could probably hear Falcon fumbling around for looking for this door. Yes, I would say that's obvious. So I will uh am I literally on the other side of it? I'll open it quickly. Yeah, I'll you're see. literally on the other side. I'll just go ahead and move you down to the first floor so that you and Falcon can be together. Boop. You open the door. Oh, did you knock? <laughs> as hard as I could. Thank you very much for answering. 
Is that a goblin? It is a goblin. He's on our side. Shut up. Follow me. All right. What else would you like to do? Uh, there, I will continue uh, opening up the, the door stairs. was a, opening the door was a free movement. I will continue up the stairs. Up the stairs. Okay. I think that's where the room was, wasn't it? For uh, for the ladies' room. Yeah. Yeah. So the stairs do go down and they go up as well. Okay. So in you go. Go check uh, the lady first. So I'll go ahead and move you now back to the top. Um, and there you are. Okay. Um, I will go to the, the other secret door. Okay. One, two, three. Count them out for me. <laughs> I don't know how much I've moved. Let's have a look. You, uh, you have yet to do any movement. So oh, just okay. from where you are. Oh, okay. One, two, three, four then. Up to the door. And um, from this side, it appears to be a large piece of uh, shiny metal. Oh, I will naturally press it or we'll pull it um, it opens there's a little click <clears throat> as it smoothly opens into an elaborate bath chamber this uh, secret door was behind a mirror and you see a humongous pool um, you know you cannot see into this right here let me let me move back to the correct thing there I you cannot see within that spot right there, but you know uh, from earlier sticking up that that is the closet that you went into that has the entrance from the other room. Oh. Okay. I will use the rest of my... Can I hear anything in now? I'm assuming I Make can't. a perception check. Uh, I got a dirty 20. A dirty 20. Uh, you listen. Um, you can hear what sounds to be like... Um, Furniture moving, coming from somewhere down here. Oh, down there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, I will sneak there down a, there if I can. Just want to make sure you see there's a door here. Yep. And there. Okay. Roll that stealth, please. Stealthy, stealthy, coming up. That is a fifteen. All right, in you go. Um, moving at half movement, please. Yep. Um, so I've used four already. That's 20, 25. Uh, well, so I've got, what, 15 left? Mm -hmm. I will move to there to see if I can see anything behind this. Um, there is nothing behind that. You peek around, there's nothing there. Um, the uh, shelf there next to you has lots of different expensive looking soaps and lotions and oils. Um, the pool is empty there's a large window overlooking it and you can see the sun is just starting to peak just starting to brighten just a bit maybe in another 45 minutes or so there will be sun upon Baldur's gate okay i will move i think i can probably move to here is my max movement i think okay let's check let's see one two three four half movement yep so that is your full movement and I peer around the corner if I can. All right. Um, you see a door. And based on your experience in this area, part of the house before, you would assume that that is the door that leads into Shasra's bedchamber. This was the door that you did not enter when you were ah, there before. Ah, okay. <clears throat> okay, you said I heard movement here. Uh, you hear you hear the sounds now. You can hear them quite plainly. Sounds of furniture being moved uh, from the bedchamber. Oh, okay. In what way? Like, uh, like, fight, like uh, someone's fighting in there, or they're trying to block the doors? Uh, the second one would be more appropriate to what you've heard. Okay. All right. I stay there, stealth. Then. All right, Jack. See, we're done. Rim. Uh, I look to Persephone, who is uh, right next to me, I believe, and say, uh, shall we help and protect Lady Ravengard? Is she there? Yes, sorry, I was yes. muted. Uh, <laughs> That's okay. The, uh, yes, but I have this bracelet and I want to put it on the, um, uh, on, the uh, on the suit of armor, like Australis told us to, but we sh absolutely should check to see that Lady Ravengard is protected. Where is the uh, where is the suit of armor? Pretty sure uh, it's this guy. 
that guy. Um, I, I'll, I'll uh, reach out to uh, to you for the bracelet. I hand it over. Okay. Um, can I dash there? Is that putting on the bracelet uh, enough of a bonus action that I can get there and put it on? It seems to be one, two, three, four, five, six. If you dash, you will have enough movement to reach it. And yes, you can put it on. All right. There I go. Um, skadoosh and kerplunk. Um so there's the the uh, suit of armor is very ornate, but you get a closer look at it. It seems to be actually uh, quite well built. Like the ornate, the ornateness is painted on, but it's painted on a much more utilitarian uh, suit of armor, and it is holding a a mace with the uh, the starred head, the sort of a morning star, uh, facing down with both of its hands held in front of it and uh, sticking out from. Uh, the top of its clenched fists is the hilt of the mace. The hilt of the mace. Mm -hmm. uh, and is that where it looks like based on the width of the bracelet and, uh, and does it look like it fits on the arm or on the mace itself? I will say that at first glance, it does not look like there is any other place to put the bracelet. But on it goes then. <laughs> All right. The bracelet clinks onto the, the, uh, hilt of the morning star and there's a sheen that starts at the hilt and goes through the fists up the arms shines out as light sort of begins to emanate from inside the armor has a bluish tint and then surrounds the whole thing and there's a shuddering sound as the armor begins to move and sort of settles and it unclenches its fists and stands ready and it uh -huh. turns its head and looks at you. Uh, I, I will say to it, protect Lady Raven God at all costs. It nods. <laughs> uh, that is the end of my turn. Very well. Uh, wait one moment while I reveal the armor. You were standing right on it. Oh, sorry. No problem. <laughs> so, and there it is. That is Rib's turn. Falkron. Huzzah. All right, so uh, because I finally found the door, thanks, Jax, uh, I'm going to go ahead and head up that stairwell uh, I and would. follow after my goblin friend. I am going to point something out to you because I am a good and generous DM. Two things, oh, in fact. I thank you. And you're you are currently 59, let's see, actually 55 feet away from your summoned uh, spiritual weapon. If you go beyond 60, it will wink out. Oh, I, I thought I had already hit my six turn limit on the. Uh, on nope, no, the... no, no. We it's are on we are on turn level limit. nine. It's a it's a ten turn limit. Well then, um, I shall use my bonus action to uh, to 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 bring that bad boy to me. It can move thirty feet. Lovely. All right then. So, um, so it can't go through walls, I imagine. I'm not sure. I th I'm going to say no, it can't. But we yeah, will look right? that up. I, that this is a new one. I've never had to. Yeah, no, it can't possibly go through walls. No, can't go <laughs> through mean, walls. That would be ridiculous. Yes. <laughs> All right. Cool. Uh, so yeah. So uh, I'll bring it thirty feet. Very good. Um, then I imagine if I go, well, then go. Oh. There it is. Lovely. All right. Um, so you just sort of stick your hand out, and you can you can sense it coming closer to you. Oh, it's like a it's like a low key kind of Thor summon where it's like, mm -hmm. wait it, but way to get wait. Loki and Thor into the same sentence. Oh, you're way. welcome, sir. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Not to yes. hammer the point home. All right. So uh, so that's your right. bonus. Very good. <laughs> um, and now the other thing I will say, because you have such a high passive perception, just as you are about to step into the door, you notice blood seeping out from underneath the door to your south. What? My passive is 17. Dang. Well, you didn't. Yeah. I don't care about blood. You don't all care. Right. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Fine. Damn. Damn my passive eyes. All right. So, um, I'm going to, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, CP door. Things I have to clarify. Um, and as I so as I get to the door, uh, I give a listen. Is there any sounds, Sean, coming from this room? Make a perception check. I shall, sir, and thank you. 
All right then. So, perceiving. Woo! A twenty-four. He says. You I hear? I can't find a door, but by God, I can listen. <laughs> you, <laughs> you I'm hear, listening for doors. <laughs> you hear a flapping sound. <sighs> all right, all right. So uh, I went the I, wrong I, way, didn't I? Uh, you, no, you're doing just fine. I went Max. the wrong way. That's no, you saying. did good. You did real good. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and call to the guard and the Raven Guard guard uh, and the captain uh, and have them be like, all right. And I'm going to shout to them like, there's an imp in this room. Get ready. Uh, oh. And, I, and I'm going right. to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and open that door. All right. Uh, <laughs> Sean likes it when we open doors. I do. Wonderful things happen behind doors. You open this door and reveal the tap room. Um, oh, on the man. ground, on the ground next to you as you open the door is the headless body of oh. a guard. And that is the source of the blood. Ooh. More to the point, across the way from you is the imp standing next to the dartboard or, or flying next to the dartboard and he throws darts at you <laughs> right at your face oh. well all right then <laughs> hitting ac7 <laughs> it will not hit <laughs> boring conversation anyway all right <laughs> And then he runs. Bang. Okay. Am I able to try to crack a spell off at him, or is? Uh, he... Yes. Yes. You. Yeah. He. He can't actually move. He, he was holding an action to do attack the first person coming through the door, so he can't actually move. He's definitely flying away. But you can cast a spell. Fantastic. Um, I'm gonna hit him with guiding bolt. Very good. Moment Ooh. of truth. Ooh, uh, an 11? I'm afraid an 11 doesn't hit, although it does impressively destroy the dartboard. Bullseye. <laughs> <laughs> Curses. Uh, all right. Um, and then, so he, so, and is he then, well, and then, so I'm going to move into the room. All right. You take a step into the room and a sharp pain <laughs> pierces your foot. Damn it. It appears that the imp has taken darts and stuck them points up out of the rug. Uh, make a dexterity saving throw, please. And I shall. Oh. All right. Rolled and die. Can I, just kidding. Rolled and a 16. Ooh. 16 succeeds. You are able to feel the points coming up through the leather on the bottom of your boot, do that and like, you stop just before it does serious damage. Do that and like awkward half foot. step. Yes. <laughs> so you are able to move as you wish. Lovely. Freaking imps. And then I shout to the guards behind me. Darts on the floor. Watch your feet. All right, so moving, uh, let's see, that was 5, 10, 15, got me to the door, and then 20, 25 gets me into the room. Mm -hmm. Very good. Lovely. Falkrin, that is you done. It is me done. Let's see. This guard comes to here, moves at half speed past the darts. Two, so that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine. He's running past you. Does not have enough movement, uh, not enough uh, action to attack, but he is standing next to the imp. Next up is the second floor elite guard who are uh, standing in the hall. They look, they see the armor activate, they go, their eyes widen. And they're looking at you for something to do, Rim. What, what do you tell them to do? Let him in. Uh, yeah, uh, y yes, very well. All right, that uh, is their turn. <laughs> the animated armor. Now, you told him to protect the lady. Did you specify which one? Um, I, I only said Lady Raven Guard because I have uh, shamefully forgotten her name. But let's the assume one... that you knew that the lady of the house's name is Shastra. That her, yes, Shastra. Oh, right. Yes, that is that would have been the instruction. 
King, 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 King. <laughs> the door is locked. He sort of looks over to you, Rim. Uh, did when, uh, did the guards not open the door in anticipation? Uh, they don't have a key. They don't have a key. Oh, um, all right. I will. I will tell the armor. Wait there. Ching, ching. And he stands guard. All right. Um, let's see. Somebody else does something else. <laughs> so <laughs> ominous. Um, so Catherine Stag is next. He takes a step towards you, Typhon. Comes up behind you, and you hear <sighs> something is wrong. <clears throat> At his forehead, sweat is just beating on his forehead. He mm. puts his hand on his stomach. Ah, oh, uh, I think oh, I. Ah, no, the air, the barracks, poison oh, falls to his knees and is shaking on the floor. That is his turn. Mm. Someone else does something else. That brings us to Persephone. Man. Um, uh, Sean, out of game for a moment. I think the answer is no, I wouldn't know, but does Persephone know about Jax's skeleton key? The answer to that question is no. Okay. Um, then as she goes to follow Rim to Lady Shasra's room, she sees um, uh, the poison kick in. <sighs> All right. <clears throat> um, but we must protect Shasra. Are you sure? Are you dying? I don't know. <clears throat> Here. <clears throat> He's fumbling with a clasp around his neck. He's wearing a very dark blue, uh, dark green, almost black cape, as I described it before. <laughs> and there's a sparkly scintillation on the inner layer. And he's fumbling with the clasp. He's fumbling with it. Looks like he's trying to take it off. I then I go over and help him with that. Okay. Um, you are able to remove the clasp, and he says, "It would aid an escape." What do you say? It will aid in escape. Okay, and so I take it and I put it on. You instinctively know as it touches you. It requires no attunement. Um, this is a Cape of the Montebank. Um, it will allow you to cast the spell Dimension Door once a day. Ooh. Cool. Um, all right. Uh, I, as I turn to go, I look at Typhon and say, he's poisoned. Ah! And I scare my bird. Um, uh, I look at Typhon and I say, he's poisoned. And then I'm going to dash as far as I can because I, I used up some movement to go over to him because okay. he's here, right, Sean? Mm -hmm. uh, here? Yes. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 10, 11, 10, 30. So I'm going to get like here-ish. But I am on my way to Shasha. All right. That's, that, my, that's my anything turn. Anything else? Nope. Okay. That is you done. There is a, a very loud sound of fighting coming from below your feet. This, uh, this floor is solid, but it is not solid enough to muffle the sounds of pitched battle happening in the front foyer. Is that where we had the original, uh, the original fight? Yes. Okay. And you hear uh, sounds like a feminine voice crying out uh, in pain. It's uh, Persephone done, which brings us to Silas. 
goodness gracious, I wouldn't even know exactly how to get from here to below here. Uh, in any event, though, I'm going to immediately go out to where I see a suit of armor trying to do something. Uh, the suit of armor is now standing, looking like it's guarding the door uh, alongside the two guards who are next to it. Okay. So that was just 20 feet of movement. Um, and I just saw Persephone run down the hall. Yeah. Yes. And and you would know, Silas, because it's how you got up here, that there oh, the is stairs. a yeah. staircase there. Uh, I'm going to use up the remainder of my 40 feet with a dash to actually we've done this once before this uh errol flynn gag yeah sure <laughs> this is an open yes, area the, uh, there. the area yeah. north of rim there is looking directly down onto the first floor you see the unconscious or barely conscious form of chasrick in the corner several dead guards uh glass let's, from let's, the explosion from the very first round let's have fun with layers and i'll just go ahead and jump right into that i've got i've got 20 feet of regular movement left okay so we will say an acrobatics check to catch the uh the tapestry the tapestry too bad it couldn't be athletics Drat. well if you want to just climb down that's fine too then in that case it's just uh Athletics at advantage, but it won't be as fast as swinging down with acrobatics. I've only got 20 feet, so even, I mean, I'm, I'm once I land, I'm stuck, right? Oh, well, then by all means, make just a climbing check uh, because yeah, the tapestry I'll, I'll, is there. I'll do, the, I'll do what you said, athletics at advantage, because I'm suddenly paranoid of falling. Uh, 24 <laughs> is the roll, so I land. Are able to easily make it to the floor. I will move you now to level one. Where you've just arrived there. And <clears throat> on my next turn, can you tell me what I see? But on my I next can. turn. Yes. Are you done? Um, I don't think I have any good bonus actions. So, yes, I am done. All right, done and done. And that brings us back to Typhon. Cool. Um, so is he still <clears throat> conscious next to me? The just very looking awful the um, um gathering yes he is still conscious if you will wait one moment i forgot to do stuff with captain kyberin and the other okay. guard go ahead comes in moves carefully over that and moves behind this guard i believe that is as far as he can get this guard comes to here and loads a crossbow and attempts to shoot the imp over your head, Falkron. He scores a hit. However, the bolt strikes the imp and then just sort of falls somewhat ineffectually out of its body. <laughs> Not enough! That brings us to Typhon. Yes, so so Gatherin is definitely poisoned. Um, even if you were a layperson and not a man of medicine, you would be able to see that. His right. eyes are dilated. His, uh, his uh, forehead is sweating profusely. He's got a bit of a tremor. Uh, he's clutching his stomach. Okay. Is there something in my um, either herbalism kit? or I have a lot of kits. Or... Um healer's kit i guess probably not but or my alchemist kit that would um cause someone to like immediately vomit or even like charcoal too which i know is like a neutralizing agent for certain things um something like that that i could like uh feed to him or shove down his throat to make him vomit or absorb there are no doubt things that you have that could do that however you're not 100 percent sure of the nature of the poison and i'm afraid that nothing that you have would have the ability to do the ability neutralize poison. Sure. Um, you would be able to use the tools that you have to create something that could do that. But that is a, right. uh, a you know, well, skill check and all that. The the neutralize the poison was sort of an afterthought. Uh, I Something I could use to make him vomit. Yes, I will say definitely. Okay. You have numerous herbs of various sorts, any, any combination of which could make somebody vomit. Okay. 
Um, I will uh, then I will take a little bit of a particular dried herb um, and just kind of get down and uh, I will just grab his face and you know look look into his eyes a bit and take a bit and just just shove it into the back of his throat. All right, make um, a medicine place check it on with the advantage. back of his tongue. Um, okay. Let's see. Um, I'm coming in with a, oops, where's my browser screen? Oh, 20. 20. Ah, he figures out what it is you're doing and ow, swallows it down and, ow, and begins to vomit profusely. Um, he is still poisoned, but he's able to, uh, looks like he might be able to get to his feet in his next round. Okay. I say, uh, I look at him square in the eyes and I say, I heard your people were strong. Protect your ward. <laughs> you see, uh, just his nostrils flare. A little bit of vomit is coming between his his uh, porcine teeth that are there sticking up, and he's he's like beginning to foam at the mouth a bit. And I smile and kind of tap him on the cheek, and then turn to. Uh, 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 that's the way. And I turn right. and. Uh, Run out the door, uh, assuming hopefully he can um, be of some use now. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm going to get to here and just start trying to uh, take in the situation and understand what is going on. So I'm just going to sit here with my owl. That'll be my turn. Very good. Um, that brings us to Rim. Uh, excuse me, Jax. I obviously will sn I'm sneaking, so I will go up to this door. An attempt to open it. All right. It does not appear to be locked. I open it. All right. More things to reveal. How fun. There's a you... dragon in there. How oh, shit. Yes. <laughs> you reveal Lady Shastra's bedchamber. And uh, it looks like some furniture has been moved, creating a uh, delta pattern there um, in front of the door, trying to... Um, Create a bottleneck in case anything comes in. Um, and standing at its apex, looking very nervous and whirling to face the door as it opens, is the elf, <laughs> Fedra Green. What? What is this? And he lifts up a hand, looks like he's about to cast a spell. You see green vines begin to uh, coalesce around his wrist and begin to spread out of his hand. It looks like he's about to do something that you won't like. Oh, I love the colour green. <laughs> you, oh, is everything okay in here? I'm just checking. You... You were here earlier. Oh, of course I was. Uh, yes, um... Yes, what's happening? Um, I've, I've locked the door, and I've done what I can to make this area defensible, but, uh... We could still put more things in front of the door, I suppose. You forgot this door. Um... Yeah, we've been killing imps and skeletons. What? So... Imps and skeletons? Yeah, I was looking for this... Uh, another imp come this way, but I couldn't find him. I thought he might be in here. What? He starts looking around wildly. They they can turn invisible, you know. And, and also into different animals. Into what, sorry? Into different animals. Oh. Is, it, is there any animals in here? Well... Just, no, just just the, the bird. But other than that, we're fine. Oh. I think, I, no, nobody's coming here since Sir Gatherin a, 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 a few minutes ago. Oh, okay. I'd better go look for him. Can I go out that door? Oh, well, I suppose, but, but I'll just lock it behind you. I'll, uh, I'll go through, lock this door. Has he got a key for it? Um, I'll pull out my skeleton not, this key door, and lock it. This door doesn't actually have a, skeleton, have a oh, keyhole. No, I'll, uh, I, I'll jump over. Don't worry, I'll do it. I'll get a skeleton key. I'll open it. Walk out. Yes, it opens <laughs> to your skeleton key. And he's like reaching for it. So, what? And you open it. And oh, it's a hear, big shiny armor here. Yes. Uh, standing blocking your path is an armor. It looks over his shoulder. Hmm. I'll walk out. I wonder what the armor would think of this. Has anyone seen an imp? We make a roll here. As the door opens, the animated armor turns quickly. It sees you come out and steps 
over you, Jax, and walks into the room. Oh, you're welcome. And um, then... Sean, can I overhear any of this conversation? Um, which conversation? They, uh, the conversation that Jax had with the elf. Um, well, I, it's just going to dictate what I can. Uh, what so I can what was do it? Well, on your turn, on your turn, we will have you make a perception check. Okay. To, to determine whether or not you have done so. They weren't being particularly quiet, but they are behind a thick wall. So, um, anything else, Jax? Um, how much have I got? I've got five, ten, fifteen, twenty. 25 that's 30 i've moved uh, is opening a door an action yeah uh opening a door is a free action unlocking a door however is an action oh, i'll let him lock it all right oh there's everyone <laughs> has anyone seen an imp oh, not in this uh, hallway not yet oh okay i better go look for it then um he will Bonus action, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So 25, oh god. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and then acrobatics off there again. All right, you want to make a check? Yeah. Go for it. 23. Uh, you nice. were able to easily go anywhere you want. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to be on the other layer now, aren't I? Mm -hmm. I'll move you there. I could probably see Silas. I'll probably land on Silas' shoulders. <laughs> that would be cool. But we'll say you land right next to him. Book. Have Very you seen good. it? What, what if I what if I want to catch him and put him on my shoulders? What? Yeah. Um, yeah. Sure. No, come on. Uh does that complete uh Jax's no. turn? No. <laughs> Have you seen an imp? I, I don't know what I've seen. Oh, yeah. He must have gone the other way then, and I'll do a dash. Another, there, they, we, I may have seen something. I, I asked to hold off on the description until it was my turn. So, oh, okay. But if if you still have action, then yeah, I've still you got a, a dash or, a, or whatever I can do. So, what can, uh, can can we hear battle down here, or can I hear battle? Yes, you could definitely hear the sounds of battle coming from the room oh, to your south. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will five. Um, I will go to here and peek around the corner. All right. You see Rhea Mantelmorn uh, with a long sword in one hand and a short sword in another hand, furiously battling uh, someone who you have not seen before. Um, there's a few bodies of skeletons that seem to have come in through the door and just sort of lying in pieces. Several guards that are dead. The two guards who had been guarding the staircase there seem to have come down and are aiding her. Okay. And she is fighting this fellow right here. He has a shield and a uh, mace in his hand and he's just whacking about furiously he's got wounds she has wounds both the guards are wounded she's desperate um with a passive perception of 17 you distinctly smell smoke smoke you say okay oh silas that pretty lady's fighting i know that's my action done all right rim your turn make that perception check please i shall do so Uh, 23. Uh, you heard every word. <laughs> All right. Um, as uh, I get ready to uh, climb down the tapestry, I call out to uh, Thedrir, uh, the armor is a protector of the house. He will help God Shasra. And I'm going to uh, begin my descent down the tapestry, which is athletics, yes? Uh, if you were to climb, it's athletics. If you want to just jump and try to use it to uh, uh, catch your fall, it's acrobatics. I am going to athletics it uh, right. at a 21. All right. That's more than enough. You are able to use your speed to climb down. It's 20 feet. All right. Excellent. Uh, so that brings me to the uh, first floor. Um, and uh, I am going to, as my bonus action, cast uh, Hunter's Mark. Um also known as bonus ouchies, and I'm going to uh, take a shot at uh, 
the gentleman uh, that she is fighting. Oh, right. There's a problem with that course of action. Oh. You are standing next to a wall. Um, the only way, the only reason Jax was able to see this is that he is peeking around the door here. Ah, okay. So with the, you said it was only 20 feet down, correct? Yes. So uh, for the other uh, 10 feet of movement, I'm just going to bring Rim um, here. Will that give me a line of sight? Let me see. Oop. Yes, it will. Excellent. Then that is where he will go, and uh, Rim is going to draw his bow back and take a shot, hitting uh, 15 armor class. I'm sorry, 15 is not enough. It seems he's wearing splint mail. It ping off his armor, and he looks over uh, Rhea's shoulder and sees more have come to the fight, and he uh, grits his teeth, and he raises his fist with his uh, uh, mace in it, and you see that it is colored black. Oh, all right. Are you done? Uh, I am done. Very well. The imp goes, or at least the imp that you can see. He attacks the guard. He swoops onto the guard's head and his tail lashes about. It has a point on the end of it like a scorpion and it pierces into the guard's neck. Oh, the guard stiffens. His eyes roll back. And he falls. To be a part of the Raven Guard Guard no more. Then the imp flies to this door, opens it, and goes through. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I must be missing it. Or, I'm, this is we're not in the foyer anymore. Is that correct? No, this is the imp's turn. You missed it. Yes, this is oh, this I'm is sorry. back at the, this is back in the tap room. To tap your tap room brawl. Gotcha. To your west. Thank you, Falkron. All right, I, she curses under her breath as she sees the guard fall, and um, so she's going to go ahead and try to like move forward. Okay. Uh, to, to pursue the imp, uh, shouting the guard, shouting to the guards to follow her. Five, ten, fifteen. Right, okay, you you be careful there. You're walking oh. over. Um, oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Okay. I just like it, it. It works out the same. The math works out the same. Right. All right. You come to the door, and I assume you open it. Yeah, I do indeed. Very well. Allow me to reveal what you see. Ah, this is the dragon room, isn't it? I knew it. I always get the dragon. Well, room. you know, there's one in every house. There we are. <gasps> this is what you see. Before you is a chilling scene. A charming music chamber has been turned into a charnel house. Wooden chairs are strewn about the room, and two, three headless bodies lie slumped among them. The green carpet is sodden with their blood, and even more seems to be dripping down from the balcony, its source as yet unseen. Standing on the steps of the proscenium in front of a gently billowing curtain is a human female who appears to be in her late teens. She has close, cropped black hair, and she's wearing combat leathers festooned with daggers of all shapes and sizes. She is holding a lute, and at her feet are three human heads, gazing up at her with ghastly expressions. She looks up as you enter, and you can see that a deep laceration on her face has caused a large portion of her cheek to hang off the side over her neck. She tilts her head to one side and the flap falls up and back against her face with a wet sound as blood pours down across the bridge of her nose and brow. Oh, good. I do so much prefer a live audience, at least at first. She drops the loot with a ping and reaches her hand over her head, grasping the wound on her cheek and proceeds to pull the skin above her cheekbone up and over her head, removing it like a mask of flesh, hair and all. Blood gushes out in torrents, but it seems to vanish into mist before hitting the ground. Before you now stands a girl with a white grinning skull for a head. Come, 
Let's start the music. I'm going to close the door. (laughs) (laughs) Exit. Stage left. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) So I shut that door so damn quick. (laughs) And I'm just... And I turn to the I turn to the captain who's next to me, I think, and I'm just like, do not go in that room. Uh, <laughs> and at that point, I am going to start. Uh, uh, I'm going to go ahead and um, oh, I think I used my full action. So I'm going to go ahead and actually uh, kind of step back from the door a little bit and then brace myself. So that way, if anything comes through there, I am ready to smite it. As, as hard as I could. So by, you're, by not holding, I mean, you, you're not holding an action? Are you holding an action? Yeah, I'm holding an action um, so that if anything comes through the door, I'm going to hit it. Very good. And then I'm going to go ahead and use my bonus action to get my spiritual hammer as close to me as possible, just so I feel a little better about my life. All right. Uh, I seem to have lost our music. Cover for me, folks, while I try to find it. Well, I've you got music. Do, 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 do. I hear music. Bum, 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 you hear music? Bum, bum. Oh, it's not just, playing for it me. Was an this, this is what you mean by cover for you, right? Sean is just making yes, up the music. Yes, that's great. Just... Thanks, guys. You're amazing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So <laughs> the music is playing for you, but not for me. And I'm Quite loudly, blame... actually. Yes. I'm going to blame that on the storm. I'm okay. going to blame it on the rain, even. Yeah, blame it on the rain. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that is the end of Aldrin's turn. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. The two guards who are helping Rhea Mantelmorn attack. One of them does not succeed. However, one of them does. All right. Excellent. That is them done. The second floor elite guard who are still standing guard. Stand guard. (laughs) That brings us to... Uh, Rhea. Rhea, as I said, is attacking with a long sword and a short sword, and you are marveling at her skill, Jax. As well, hopefully you are. Let's see. Yes, she manages to get two attacks with her long sword. Both of them slash across the man she's fighting slash across his armor, and then her short sword is blocked by his shield. However, a large wound has appeared on his forehead, and it is uh, dripping blood into his eyes. Oh, she's so graceful. (laughs) Very good. That brings us to the animated armor. The animated armor uh, does something that you don't know about. Fedria Green continues to do something. Sir Gatherin Stag. Gatherin Stag gets to his feet. Uh, Thank you. I'm all right. I don't think I'll be much use in a fight. Uh, What can I do to help? Who's he speaking to? Can I react to... He's speaking to Typhon. Oh. Uh, Can I... Can I speak back? Or do I wait? Okay. Um... Seeing the door open and in front of me, seeing this little barricade, I would suggest um, uh, get your mistress into Shastra's room. It's easy to protect everyone at once. And that's all I'll say. Who right. do we lose? Who do we lose? I'm afraid that I just got a message from Eli- uh, from Silas. The uh, yeah. storm has claimed his power. Um, so he is without power, which means oh. that joining the game for the rest of the session will be problematic. Um, uh, we'll, we'll see if he gets, through? we'll see if he gets creative. Um, but, uh, in the meantime, I will play Silas. DM takes away his powers and then the storm That's takes right. away his power. He's just, yeah. All right. He's, Universe he's, has got it in for him. That his power is back on. All right. Anyway, so that's his, so, uh, what do you wish to say to Sir Gatherin? Typhon. Oh. Um, I, I, so I saw that door open up in the little barricade. Yes, you said everybody get to that room, of course. Yeah. Yes. All right. Sorry, I was distracted by Scott. Oh, no, that's So he nods and begins to move slowly in that direction, leaning against the wall. He's dragging his sword behind him. Persephone, that brings us to you. 
Um, I don't know if it would be an insight check or something, but how convinced am I that uh, the armor can like protect that room with Shashra in it? Well, you didn't actually see the armor. Um... I was pretty cool. Oh, you did see it. You were standing yeah. right there. Uh, it looked pretty hardy. It depends, of course, on what the threat is. Sure. But, like, if I walked away, I wouldn't feel like I was leaving her. I, I would feel at least semi-confident about that. Um, that is going to be a judgment you have to make yourself, Tess. Okay. I can't I can't give that one for you. Fair enough. Um, I will say he looked... It looked like a formidable magic deterrent. Okay. Oh, might have. I was back. Um, all right. I'm going to uh, head then uh, down the way that Rim did, and I'd like to do the uh, acrobatics check to get down. Okay. Uh, so you jump over and you reach out to grab the tapestry. I got a 16. 16 is enough. You land on the ground with all of your movement. Excellent. Um, <clears throat> and I've gotten myself a little confused. Where am I in relation to Falcron? I will move you first to level one. You have landed. If Ryan, yeah. and, Ryan and Tess want to turn off their cameras quickly. Ah. Just Ryan. Oh, Just Ryan you've and joined Tess. us. And then Ryan back on. And then Tessa back on. There we go. Good, good. Excellent. Um, so you've landed right next. So um, here is the dining hall. This is the room. Uh, you don't know this. Uh, Persephone doesn't know this, but I will tell Tess this just to give you uh, understanding. This is the room with the secret door. Um, and this is the tap room. Falkron is here who just closed the door after uh, seeing the uh, horrible visage that has just- So there's no way I can see what's going on with Falcon right now. There are several doors in the way, I'm afraid. But I can see uh, that Rhea is being attacked by this guy, right? No, there's a door right here. Uh, sorry, a wall right here to your south. The entrance way that Jack saw this all happening through is right in front of him. All right. Um, I guess I'll just uh, listen. Where's the closest fray sounding? Uh, well, that that I, I, you don't need to uh, roll for that. That is obvious. Uh, as you're getting closer, jumping down here, it's the uh, combat is echoing through the stone chamber. You hear it. It's definitely coming from the south. The story. Great. Okay. Uh, so five, ten, fifteen, thirty. I'm gonna go to here. That door's open, yes? Yes, and as you, you step into that chamber uh, with a passive perception of, looks like 14, uh -huh. you can distinctly smell smoke. Ooh. Um, and I'm going to pop off a crossbow uh, at this guy. Uh, not that guy, that's a guard. You want to oh, do it at that. this fellow Thank ringed you. in thick black. Thank you, yes, that's very fun. Uh, right. Um, sorry, oh, you may oh, sorry. feel free to. Uh, extra times. Uh, what did you yeah, roll? Seven. Seven. Seven does not hit. He's able to deflect it with his shield. Okay, that's me. Good. So that is for seventy. Silas, you're back. What would you like Indeed. to do? Indeed. You, you had a certainly. You wanted to know. You wanted to know about things happening. Uh, well, I, th I think I've got a, a good view. So I think in the, the room that I am currently occupying, there's nothing special going on. But in the room directly to the south of me, which uh, Persephone has just entered and done some type of violent act, right? Yes. So I'm going to rush in there and do some more violent acts. <laughs> All right. Off you go. Off I go. So Rim has also shot into that room. Yeah. Um, so as I recall, Rhea is a friend. Uh, yes, you Correct. met her in the tap room. She was the one who described uh, the eyewitness account of the fall of El Terrell. 
Well, I can get... Let me see, I was here. Hmm. I can just get to her with my regular movement. Uh, which doesn't mean I can do much for her because I can't quite... Oh, no, I can reach the assailant, can. can't I? Yes, you indeed. Have ah, reach. reach. I have reach. So I'm going to attack the whatever that person is <laughs> that I can see the description. But if you Well, give me a quick you, you are able to see uh, as you run up that um, he is armored, he uh, has a large mace and a shield, and his right hand appears to be colored black. Ah, the black hand of Bane. No doubt. Um... That's a generic term. If he is the black hand, then I didn't know that. Uh, <laughs> so I'm just going to attack him, yes. Very well. Roll Straight shot with the glaive. Uh, for a 12. 12 does not succeed, I'm afraid. Anything and else, Silas? No, again, I don't have much for bonuses, so uh, pass turn. All right. The fellow with the mace attacks. He jabs his spear into the guard to his right, who clutches it and crumples to the ground dead. Sheesh. Very well. That is him done. Right. <laughs> Excellent. Now we really get to play. Because... <laughs> Let me see here. How perceptive is this chick? Oh, good to know. All right. Close this door. And the door opens and there she stands in front of you Falkran going so soon the concert's just getting started so um, right as she opens the door and says going so I hit her in the face with the war hammer um, did you have an action I, to take I did ready an action I, I said right. I, I, oh, I right. ready the action to hit whatever came through that door with my hammer <laughs> roll that down <da> roll that attack <laughs> lovely that go it did not okay all right and what i meant was it's time this oh oh, oh. oh, oh. she does it she, she, she just sort of eight. lays she lazily uh. moves to the side as she's speaking her voice inflection doesn't even change as your uh. hammer just whiffs and she oh. reaches out with two graceful strikes uh, two she knows how to handle hecklers it's uh <sighs> she hits AC sixteen. No, she. Well, I mean, she she sure does, but she doesn't hit me just yet. <laughs> An AC nine. <laughs> no. It's, oh, thank goodness. Okay. <laughs> and then the skull sort of just sort of clicks, and you feel a redness and by the way as she moved towards you there was that familiar feeling of the yeah. blood in your veins trying to escape and there's a uh, a call that comes and you hear blood 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 in your ears as it begins to rush up your neck and tries to seize your muscles roll a wisdom save seven hells i hate these people uh. Alright. Wisdom save, don't fail me now. Okay. Nope. I know. That's it. I would say it's for suspense, but hang on a second. <laughs> a little, little bit. Well, we're uh, suspended. You're indeed. Hey! Hey! An 18 for the wisdom save. I may not be able to hit, but I can think. <laughs> <laughs> you clench your teeth and you force my sheer will of the blood to go back down where it's supposed to be. You are not stunned. 
Mm, that brings us to... Typhon, your turn. Okay. Um, I know similar to what I asked last time, but if I'm just sitting it here, sound like combat coming from left or right. Mm-hmm. Is it both? Um, let's see. Make a perception check. Okay. Um, uh, I've got a 12 this time. Um, you hear uh, um, combat coming both from your right, also sort of somewhat down. You can hear it echoing up the, uh, the spare chambers, and also it seems to be coming from your left. You haven't been down there yet. Um, okay. I did see my allies go. Um, it's a little bit concerning. So, 5, 10, 20, 25, 30. Seem to be growing louder. It does. Okay. You hear um, the sound of a massive hammer hitting a floor. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Um, does my owl see anything? Flapping over there. So your Can owl communicate sees it, to me something. And, um, so you are you using your action to see through the eyes of your owl? No, I was just getting. Um, you know, what do you see over there, little Got it. buddy? So this is what he communicates back to you that he's seen. Um, it appears to be a staircase that uh, goes up to slight ways uh, into a room. You can see a headless body that is lying there and blood is pooling down the staircase into this room here. And there's two couches looking like they uh, overlook some sort of balcony. Okay. Oh... Okay. That also, makes sense. there seems to be smoke. I forgot to mention that earlier, but it was probably pretty obvious from the graphic. Um, the uh, the candelabra has been knocked over in the corner, and it is slowly beginning to burn the carpet. Smoke okay. is beginning to billow. Um. Okay. Um. I will then dash to this corner and look. I guess I'm seeing the same thing. You are uh, half. So I've got then another. Uh, peek over the balcony. Okay. So you see, you are now able to look down and see uh, the stage that is below you. Okay. Uh, however, the uh, people who are in this room and fighting are not able to be seen. They are underneath the balcony. Sure. You understand? I do. Right. Um, and that's about all I can do I think let's see uh owl can go a little further which I can so, five, 50, 55, 60. uh owl will flutter at the edge there and that's flutter at it. the edge all right um I will say because the owl is an owl it is able to uh determine that yes there are people fighting below you but yeah you you can't see him, of course. Typhon, okay. then in which Jax. Okay. Uh, Jax is over, looks in the room, obviously, and sees it quite full with Silas and stuff. Oh, there's no, uh, there's no imp here. And we'll start running off back down, following his tracks from where he was before. All right. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh... Oh, dash again, 5, 10, 15, 25, 30. Do I see, can I hear what's going on or? Well, you see a uh, spiritual hammer um, <laughs> right there in front of you. Um, you have two more rounds on that, Falkron, I believe. Um, so this turn will be one and then you'll have your next turn and then it's gone. Um, and you see a guard sh who looks like he may have just shot a uh, crossbow bolt. Oh, is that is that where the imp is? And I will bonus is action hide. Okay, bonus action hide. Very good. For Thirteen. Damn it. Very good. All right. So now it would be Kuriana Key's turn, but she has already gone. So we will skip her for the nonce and go to Rim. Excellent. Um, I'm going to move a little bit further into the room. Um, 
and go stand next to Persephone, and I will take uh, another shot at our evil black-handed friend here. Um, drawing my bow back and hitting for 18. And 18 does succeed. So that is uh, eight points of damage plus Ooh. bonus ouchies of six, 14 points of damage. Wow. <laughs> the, the arrow just goes right through his Adam's apple, right as he's in mid swing and he falls to his knees and perishes. Oh, huzzah. Uh, with the remainder of my turn, um, can I smell the direction of the smoke? Um, uh, is that a perception? Make a perception check. Uh, difficult to smell, but uh, a 10 is <laughs> enough to see that there is smoke billowing from this door. Oh, from that door? Um, yes, indeed. All right, uh, there are no other visibly perceivable threats in that room, is that correct? Um, that you are aware of, no. Okay, then with the remainder of my movement, I'm going to go and open that door, um, if it is uh, unlocked. Oops, not in the door, at the door. It is unlocked. Do, do, do. This is the library where you first met Australis Ravengard. Um, and you see that one of the bookshelves um, in the southern part of the room is ablaze. The room is filled with fire, um, uh, filled with smoke, um, heavily obscured. All right. Uh, that, is the, uh, that is the end of my turn. All right. That brings us to... <laughs> One moment, please. Yes. Aww. Falkrin, you seem to feel a f wind of flapping sensation over your head. Uh. And appearing from invisibility is the imp behind you. Who attacks? The AC 18. That'll hit. That'll hit. How, unfortunately for the imp, you are a hill dwarf. So make your save versus poison at advantage, please. Huzzah. All right. Um, uh, poison save. Poison save. Use a constitution save. So sorry. Ah, there it is. Thank you. I was like. get the one that's the one and with the deuce all right that is enough to save easily you uh take six points of piercing dick move all right 13 points of poison halved because of your uh your successful save and Ooh. then halved again because of your resistance to poison so that is let's see you're making me six, math so three oh. three points of poison damage all right all right so Wait, are we playing Mathfinder? Yeah. Oh man, might as well be Typer Shark. All right. All right. Anything else trying to kill me? Um. Just the uh, skull-faced chick in front <laughs> of you. Skull lady and the you know the, the imp. Yeah. Right. right. Falkrin, it's your turn. Swell. Let's try this again, shall we? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and summon. I think I can get my hammer to me this time. Sean, unless I'm a liar. One, two, three, four, five, six, right next to you. Fan freaking tastic. All right. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do. Uh, I'm going to. I'm going to go ahead and cast uh, inflict wounds at the second level and right. try to hit Skull Lady in her dumb skull face. <laughs> Hmm, so that is a, a touch attack, correct? It is a touch attack, yes. I did a 15 to hit. 15 is the AC. Fantastic. So, um, yeah, that'll do it. And so that is 14 points of damage. Very good. Necrotic. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and hit her with my hammer for the bonus action. Or actually... 
Uh, yeah, I'm going to hit her with my hammer for the bonus action. Right. So now this will be, uh, she'll have a higher AC because it's through the doorway. Oh, fair enough. I'll take that. All right. Uh, spiritual weapon. Did a 22 hit her that through the hits. doorway. Ah. Lovely. Very and nice. she takes five of force point. damage. Very good. Very good indeed. All right. That is a good turn for Falkrin. I've got a bone to pick with you. Oh, you said that last time. Second floor elite uh, guard. Ha ha, being held accountable. Uh, they Crack continue to guard. Thedria Green continues to guard. Animated armor continues to guard. Rhea Mantelmorn <sighs> turns and looks at you, size. What was your name again? Silas. She salutes with her whatever blades. You are in, I am in your debt. And she uh, runs past you over to Rim, runs through Rim. <coughs> we should try to douse the flames with <coughs> the rugs. And uh, she begins I to... stop her. I stop her and I say, I'll take care of it. Um, uh, help the others. You sure? Yes. Oh, suit yourself. And she steps out and looks to you, Silas. What do we do now? There are other attackers in the house. We must find them. Any ideas? Where do these stairs go? They go up to the big stairs. stairs. Yes, the big stairs. These are the bottom of the big stairs. Um... From where I'm at, I haven't seen any other anything going on. I came uh, down to the battle. That's right. You have yet. You've not seen anything else happening. Yeah. Uh, go to the ladies' chambers. Make sure she's protected. I, I, I don't know where that is. Upstairs, and you'll see uh, guards in front of the door. Okay. Lady Raven guards. Quarters. Up the Thanks steps. for that shot, Dragonborn. Rim She's nods done. and uh and and lets her on her way. Um that is her done. Persephone, what do you do? Um so there's nobody left uh fighting in this room us yes. right now. And standing right there, you are able to see down that hallway. You see the form of Pilgrim lying collapsed against the wall there next to a potted plant. Oh, and okay. there seems to be a green fume emanating from the door that is directly to her south. Does that... Mm. Okay, I'm gonna head that way. Um, okay. So I'm gonna stop there. Okay. You see this. Did that reveal correctly? No. Damn storm. There we are. Okay. Um, do I get any sense of what the green fume is yet? Um, as you reach to that spot, there's a acrid sort of taste in your mouth. Um, it makes you want to swallow it. It seems to immediately seize up in your throat a little bit as if it's sucking all the moisture out of your throat. You have to cough a bit. But I don't see any anything attacking or that had attacked him. Make a perception check. Excellent. Um, 21. Ooh, 21. 21. Interesting. All right. You see both bloody footprints moving into the door directly to Pilgrim's North. 
and something shiny sticking out from behind the potted plant. I'm gonna just, is this, does dash work? Like, could I, I can't like finish up now and use 30 more and then that'd yeah, be my turn. That would be your turn. You would have okay. a bonus action still, but this. So I'm just gonna be here. Right. And As see. you get it, make a, um, a constitution save at advantage, please. <laughs> oh, oh god no. double fours <laughs> yeah because i can't even see me. i rolled four twice okay great um the second did i save uh you did not save i'm afraid <laughs> it was a very low dc because this is behind the door but uh i'm afraid you do take seven points of poison damage um oh. you begin to cough again and blood comes up in your mouth a little bit and you have, feel it trickle out the side okay definitely see the smoke is this green flame is come it's green uh, smoke is fume is coming from underneath the uh, the door that's going on it's, this door is very ornate it appears to be made of um, embossed wood and there's a, a large symbol of a gauntleted hand <clears throat> and the uh, the back of the hand has a um, an eye sigil uh, emblazoned on it. Uh, I'll just use my bonus action to take like my sleeve and sort of cover my face. Just, I don't Very think good. I can actually do anything, but it's an instinct. All right. That is Persephone done. So Gatherin Stag continues to limp towards the... Uh... the chambers of his lady and then realizes oh useless and stands guard silas i'm going to first yell out to rim rim is there anyone in there not that i can see is there anything i can do to help help the others and so i shall uh 30 feet gets me just to the end of the hallway, then I can see things. Mm -hmm. um, you are able to also begin to uh, taste this strange, this strange uh, metallic acrid taste in the back of your throat. It, it, it begins to tickle to the point where you can't help but cough. And I'm going to dash up. Hey, make a constitution saving throw at advantage, please. Come on, constitution saving throw. At advantage, thirteen high. Thirteen is uh, enough. Uh, you were able to <laughs> get your arm up and <coughs> push your sleeve to your face, and you are um, doing okay. Okay. Uh, that being the case, I, I used uh, double movements. Is there anything else I can do at this point? I will allow you to open that door, uh, either door. Um. Uh, what do I perceive as I ran up? Make a perception check. Because I don't want to just take the description that you gave to no, Persephone for granted. Right. right. Perception check of 13. Um, you see uh, bloody footprints on the floor. Actually, no. You do not see the bloody footprints on the floor. You see uh, from behind the potted plant um, the gleaming hilt of a sword. I, it looks to be the sword that Pilgrim was using. She must have tried to hide it there as she was dying. I reach down and knock the potted plant over and grab the sword. Very good. You now have a very uh, ornate and fine looking weapon. That's just fine. I'm done. All right. That is Silas done. Okay. Very good. That brings us back to the top of the order, Typhon. I picked all the wrong places to run to. How <laughs> how far down from this balcony is it into the audience? Um, the Twenty main? feet. Twenty feet. Okay. 
Um. That's fine. What's 20 feet? You know, we could all jump 20 feet, can't we? Um, can I kind of... <sighs> Not a good decision. Uh, l kind of hop over the edge and lower myself down to make it more like 15 and then drop. Um, I think some hmm. of my movement, if that makes sense. What do, do you so. think would be an appropriate skill to roll for that? I would say athletics because you were trying to hold. Yeah, it's kind of sense. like climbing halfway. Yeah. So sure, I will um, roll me that beautiful athletics. 19! Ooh. Wow! Whoa. All right. You land in a perfect superhero pose. Wow. Cool. All right. I was I was, I was going to be happy with reduced damage, but I'll take that. Um, so and, you went uh, 15 feet? Yeah, it's every 10 feet, and the first 10 <laughs> is free. Oh, cool. All right, cool. So I do land, and I look up and see this uh, yes. creature ahead of me. Um, she does turn to look at you, however. Um, I will, uh, I will say, uh, uh, Hawk, uh, Haranga, and have him go flutter in her face a bit on the non-fire side. Okay. And then, uh, <laughs> um, I will, um, actually step forward to, well, let's go here. And again, um, my, uh, uh, the incisors will grow a bit long and I will hiss and this sort of green mist will come out of my mouth and I will um, shoot my hand forward and this cloud of um, sort of poison will spray out in her direction. And Very good. Her to make a con save. And she will. She rolls a 17. Oh. Okay. No damage, no but damage. Um, there's still an uh, advantage for the next attack against Indeed. her. Indeed. That is you done, Typhon. Jax. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Um, so she can't see me from where I am, can she? So. Nope. So I will 5, 10, 15, 20. So it's 20 feet to there. Uh, 25. Five, thirty. Can I bonus action hide? Yes. Uh, or one of my actions. So can I still get a shot off? I can't. I can. Can I? So you moved thirty feet. Yeah, thirty feet so far. And then uh, did a bonus action hide. Yeah. Um, you. So I could use a dash not, action to move. You could use the dash action. You do not have a clear shot from that spot. Well. No, you could. You could. One one corner of your square does reach one corner of her square with n mm -hmm. no obstruction. So, yes, you could shoot her, but she has a higher AC. Uh, 15 on a stealth. Wait one moment. Da, okay. Da, da. So, I don't know if she can see me. Can she see me at all? Um, you don't know. Uh, I'm waiting for that attack. You have advantage. Advantage would be 26. 26 or, hits. Or 25 if she doesn't see me. Or she does see me, so. Uh, 14 damage. Uh, very good. The uh, bolt comes streaking past you, Falkrand, and you clearly see it strike this woman right in the blessed plate, but then it fades away as yeah. if nothing happened. Oh. oh. That is the end of your turn there, Jax? It is indeed, yeah. Koreana Key looks over her shoulder lazily and points a finger at you, and a black sort of vine begins to unwrap from her middle finger and suddenly snakes out, reaching for you, Peter. Ah! Hitting AC 16. Um... I will use my reaction for arcane deflection. And, Very good. Um, yes, you will see. I will flash my hand in front of my face, not casting any spells, but you will see um, a flicker of green light as a bunch of scales seem to 
run up the side of my hand and I block away just with mm -hmm. a quick flick of my hand to the attack. Very good. Um, she sees that happen. She does a spin as she's attacking Falcon and looks right in your eyes and you begin to feel the blood in your body boil up into your neck. Your jaw clenches. Make a wisdom save. Just realized I would have had advantage anyway, wouldn't I? From Pete yes, roll. indeed. Uh, I say rolled a nine, unfortunately. Yes. I'm sorry, not Falkrin. Uh Well, yes. Yes, Falkrin. Sorry. Wait. Huh? Falk oh, Typhon? Falk wait. Typhon? What? 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 Right. Yes, Falkrin. Yes, you have failed your wisdom save. Oh. Um, and you are attacked. She slashes across you with two dagger attacks. Okay. Which she has advantage on because you are stunned. Uh oh. Ah, okay. Because Here comes her, the pain. Because of her winning personality? Alright. All right. God, she's got a lot of action. Alright, so that's that's a crit. Oh no. Yes. This happens to you a lot, Falker. And another uh. uh well, the other one hits AC fifteen. So no. So no, but okay. So, you take seven points of piercing damage, but because of her aura, you are you are um, vulnerable to piercing damage, which means you take fourteen points of piercing damage ah. as the blood from the scratches she makes on your fingers begins to pour out of your body. Bye bye. That is the end of her turn. Rim. All right, uh, Rim is going to take in a mighty inhalation and rush into the room 15 feet and unleash his ice breath weapon Too over cool. the space of all of the fire. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm not even going to make you roll for that. That is so awesome. The fire immediately goes out. Excellent. Um, can I hear uh, what battle sounds louder to me of what's going on right now? Make a perception check. Please. All right. This room is still filled with smoke. Right, right. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, perception is uh, 21. Um, you, wow, that's a nice perception. You definitely hear the sounds of battle happening down the, further down the hall. There seems to, well, you... Yeah, you can't see. Did you yes, step into the room to do I this? I did. I did. Let me uh, let me move to where I am. Sorry, uh, my it's being pretty clunky. That's where I am right yeah, now. Okay. Um, do I now having passed and been in this room and the entryway before? I would recognize this hallway and the the this hallway here. Yes. Uh, yes. You know. And, you know that that is the way that people went to to go to the tap room. Okay, and so and this is a door here. That is, is that a correct? curtain, actually. That is a curtain. Yes, the door to the tap room was a uh, very poorly concealed secret oh, door. Oh, right okay. Here. Uh, then in that case, I will uh, I will exit this north door here and start moving down that hallway. Very well. So that will be uh, 15, 20, and uh, 30, I think, will take me just to the entrance of this hallway. So I'll get ready to uh, to charge down there momentarily. All right. That's the end of Rim's turn. The imp attacks Falkron again. That imp does anyway. With a natural one. <laughs> Is Falkron still stunned? Even, yes. Oh, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> He'll attack again. Hitting AC 14. Which does not hit. Thank Good. the gods. <laughs> yes. Good. All right. Falkron, uh, you are stunned your turn. At the end of this turn, you are no longer stunned. That Neat. is your turn. Second right. floor guards continue to stand fast. Rhea Mantlemorn transports up to the top. One. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. She is there. Next, we have the animated armor. Nothing. That you're green. Nothing. 
Sir Gatherin Stag, nothing. Persephone. Okay. Um, I imagine I get the sense that if I go closer into this room, I'm going to be more exposed to the poison that is hurting well, me. Yes, the poison is clearly seeping around the cracks of the door here. Um, if you were to open the door, it would be probably very bad. Okay. Uh, I'm but gonna you have do to... see um, bloody footprints on the floor. Um, going into both rooms or just this room? It appears that they have left, they're, they've moved, they, look, they've trod through um, Pilgrim's blood and okay. moved from this room into the room to Silas's north. Okay. Um, and is the door right here for... Yes, the door to your south is the one through which the poison is seeping. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought the north was the... No, no. The north, the, the bloody footprints go from the south to the north, Got and it. this poison is seeping from the southern door. And can I hear anything? Uh... Perception check. All right. I got a 10. Um, you definitely hear the sounds of battle. Uh, it, not, not really clear where it's coming from. Um, a slight sort of bubbling sound coming from somewhere nearby. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and open up the door uh, to the north room. Okay. Revealing all the map. I love it. Woo! This appears to be a kitchen. You see oh, a right. large cook fire, um, a set of stairs, servant stairs in the back. Um, there are pots and pans on shelves here, a large uh, preparation table in the middle, candelabra, and um, other various uh, cooking utensils and crockery and bags. Okay. Um... That's not what I expected. <laughs> and are, are those bloody footprints that I can see? That yes. Are plain? Yes. And because you saw them earlier, I will say that you continue to see them. Uh, they appear to be going around the table and towards the staircase in the back. All right. I'll follow the footprints. And so they go here. What's your passive? Uh, 14. All right. That is not enough, I'm afraid. Um, you step to there and you realize that there is lard all over this floor. Someone has broken a large pot of lard and you need to make a uh, acrobatics check. I'm so glad you said that. Uh, 17. 17. Well, your foot goes out from underneath you and whoop, but you do a little steadying and you land easily. However, it looks that somebody was holding an action. You uh -oh. look over to the south, where previously hidden was a rat. And I will try and reveal him. Yes, there we go. A rat. This is uh, similar to the rat that you heard described from the... Um, the uh, uh, sewers he's uh larger than any rat that you would have normally seen and his eyes are glowing red with steam coming from them and he's got a feral uh fiendish expression and then it slowly morphs into an imp <laughs> and he looks at you uh... i ordered my human crispy and he knocks over the candelabra that's standing next to him and the room erupts into flame oh Jesus. my goodness Oh! Make a dexterity oh! saving throw. Oh my gosh. Um, oh. Well, oh, that is wow. not good enough, I'm afraid. Please take 11 points of fire damage. Oh, okay. damn. Really not okay. Uh... Um, that is... You did not fall prone, so you can continue to do whatever it is you wish. I'm gonna get out of the fire. All right, you <laughs> step out of the fire. Uh, yeah. Do you go up the steps or do you just back out? Uh, I'm gonna back to here because that is out of the fire, correct? Okay, yes. Oh. Yikes! 
I'm hurt. Um, so that's you still have. You've, that's all your movement. You still have an action and a bonus action. Great. I'm gonna go ahead and drink my potion of greater healing. Aha! And I'm not sure on roll twenty how to do that. <laughs> Let me see. Greater healing, I believe, is it's D eights, correct? Let's um, just do a little look up here. It's just more D4s. Is it just more 44 D4s? 44 plus 8, I think. 44 plus 8. That's what we get. Yeah. Top left, you've got the little button thingy. The jig. It looks like a dice. You can... Yeah. If oh, just so just click the yeah, D8. If you actually click on that um, emblem, yeah. it'll bring up um, like a dice I'm roller thing. Roll. Yeah, that little thing looks like a dice. If you actually click on it, and it'll come up with things so you can do the advanced roll so like 4d and then change it to d4 and then plus yeah 44 plus 8 is greater healing or you can type it yeah just slash two. r that's 1d4 11. wow so i got a really crappy roll that's, you need to roll another 3d4 ah Thank you. Thank you. All right. So I got 27 back. No, it would be 11, be right. 15, 19. 18, 19 back. 19 back. 19. Thank you. There you go. The uh, potion tastes a little bit like blood. You feel it burble down your throat and it spreads out to your limbs and the fire damage, which had just begun to blister, suddenly dissipates and floats away. Ooh. That is you done unless you have a bonus action. Oh, no, I'm going to just catch my breath with that bonus. <laughs> Very good. Uh, that is the end of Persephone's turn. Silas, there is a large whoosh of flame and a heat that came just after Persephone walked into that door. The door is still I, open. I first yell out, Persephone, are you okay? Having seen her just quickly quaff a potion. Ah, uh, I, if you ask it after the potion, I say, I am now. And then Imp. I step into the room. Imp. Ten. And I'm assuming she's pointing. Yes. And then I can see him. Yes, you can. You can see an imp gambling happily on top of that um, shelf there. And is the fire still raging? It is. It's quite okay. hot. Good thing for reach. From where I am at, not in the <laughs> fire, I'm going to stab at this little creature. Uh, yes, with a Ranian, which is a moon-touched weapon, as I recall. That is correct. That counts for magic. Ho! Oh, hey! Natural crit. Dump some so, smite on... Oh. <laughs> oh um, that's, that's a sad this imp is <laughs> dancing in the light of the fire and looks at you as... <sighs> and as it's growling at you, you just expertly, without even breaking a step, bring the glaive right down on his head, and it is carved in twain. I was going to add a smite if I could, but I can't. But I'll take that. Um, so it is... Vondry is keeping track. You can save him up and use him later. Okay. It'd be nice to know that she's watching me, but I assume, like, um, any jilted person that she has blocked me, so... <laughs> uh, oh. Sad pain. As I recall... The door is shut, I think was the phrase. Um, so that imp is done then, yeah? Yes. Mm, maybe I have a cantrip or something that I can... Oh, no, nothing. Uh, raging fire. I'm, I'm in a kitchen. Um, totally out of my element here. Uh, I'm going to take one step back. Nobody has <laughs> nobody has mentioned it, so I just want to make sure that everybody is aware. You would have known this. I didn't want to reveal it on the map because uh, you never know what's going to be there at what given time. But I want to make sure that people are aware that based on where you were for uh, for uh, your sleeping, that at the end of this hall is a spiral staircase. Is that apparent? Wait, where? Sorry, at the end. At this. At so. I'm on the second floor here. There's a spiral staircase and then a spiral staircase there that is the same spiral staircase. Does that make sense? Where I'm pointing sure. at? Yes. Yeah, I can see that. The answer is okay. yes, I can see All that. Right. Um, but I did uh, 5, 10, uh, 5, 10, 
15, 20. I'm just going to stop right there so I'm not blocking the doorway in case anyone runs in or out. Uh, I also don't know what to do about this raging fire, but my turn is done. Very well. Um, that is Chazric. Chazric continues to be useless. There is, at the end of this round, a sound from deep underneath the house. There's a rumble. And there's things that begin to fall from the uh, kitchen onto the floor. Just king, 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 king. You think for a moment it could be an earthquake, but then it dies down and stops. There's a blast of air that fans the fire a little before dying down. Um, that is what Silas and Persephone experience. On the other side of the house, the explosion is far more intense. There is a rumbling. Everybody, please make a uh, dexterity save. Everybody, everybody? Everybody, everybody. Okay. Everybody, everybody. Uh, sorry, sorry. Everybody. Persephone and, Ty- and, Ty- and Silas do not have to, but everybody oh, who, good. Is, who is uh, to the west of the Great Hall must make a dexterity save. Jax, uh, you have Falkren. fallen prone. Can you, can you yeah. not die, Falkren? I know, seriously, what's going on? Falkren. Apparently. Apparently you are not. stunned and you fall pro- you are no longer stunned but you fall prone so Sh- Sean what happened to my city guard friends who were like Ooh, hanging out in they were and... lost in the shuffle um all right I will take them into account next round they catch you false yeah. as a concession <laughs> they catch you I will take them into account next round they will get um, some free attacks to make up for the fact that they have not been attacking fair enough. Don't worry, I've been taking all their hits for them. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are standing right in the doorway. <laughs> Victim blamer. Let's see. I will take care One of One could right easily now. say I that they were shocked and, and aghast at the headless, skinless woman and the imp. Why yeah. do you think I shut the door? Yeah, <laughs> sure. That's what happened. Absolutely. They were too busy holding up their medieval cell phones. Oh, my God, look. Oh, my God. Captain Kiberian. Okay, so we'll say that the other uh, guard down here will go on the same turn as Captain Kiberian. Um, so, 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 so let's see. Who failed? Jax, you fall prone. Falkred, you fall prone. Rim, you do not fall prone. Typhon, you do not fall prone. Lovely. Um, now we are at the top. Oh, and uh, this rumbling... <laughs> continues and you feel air being sucked away from you and then sort of a pressure change as uh, it the backflow changes direction um, something large exploded somewhere hmm. so even though we felt that we all were kind of knocked back like none of us actually saw the point of the explosion no no okay. one did okay that is the end of that Typhon you are prone Oh, really? I'm sorry. Thought... You are not prone. You okay. are one of the few who did not. <laughs> you Got are it. not prone. Uh, armor is leather, correct? On this mm-hmm. one. Okay. Um, I will still. I will have Mr. Owl flap in her face in that and then that case, and then fly back a bit. Um, I will step forward. As you um, step to there, your blood begins to boil. Here. Yeah. 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 Cool. Um unsettling and uh, green energy will begin to spark between my fingertips I will reach out and just try and plant my hand sort of in the center of her back um, to unleash a shocking grasp um I whoa wow. double natural 20s on wow. that advantage attack <laughs> fantastic uh, and there's the damage seven. for a grand old 7 damage I can't wait till level 5 <laughs> <laughs> she uh cocks her head a little bit as she feels the, the damage course through her. Okay. But it does not seem to have... Uh, I mean, she, it definitely took, she definitely took the damage, but uh, you, All can right. still, you can still see the uh, the sparks of it arcing across yeah. her, the skull. I will step uh, back then to here. All right. She does not get her reaction because of that spell. All right. Until when does she get her reaction back? Um, uh, until the start of their next turn. So. Okay. Jax. 
I. Um, as he, obviously the imp knows I'm here. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, it's you again. And I'll pull out my silver dagger and jump up uh, and try to stab at him. All right. Roll for that damage. Uh, roll for that attack. Du, du, du. Leon 20. 18 to hit. 18 is a hit. For 21 damage. Oh, my God. Wow. Wow. And she doesn't have her reaction. My goodness. That's one of max damage. Uh, oh, oh, wait, no. Oh, I'm sorry. It was the, the imp. Oh, that's Damn a shame. That's, that's a shame. The you imp. meant her, right? I, 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 can't, I can't get to her, so. I'm just teasing. You could have thrown the dagger. But. It's silly. It's the only bit of wealth Jax has got. <laughs> um, the imp sees you coming and is like, yes, yes, yes. No! As it sees the dagger coming down right into its eye. And it falls oh. dead. Bye. Oh. And so that was what? 5, 10, 15, 20. And I duck down and bonus action hide. All right. Good. Um, Priyana Key. No longer. Oh, that was uh, slight of hand. That was uh, 26. Right. Very good. Yes. Thank you. Priyana uh, Key no longer. Uh, she regains her use of her action. She turns at you again, Typhon, and again, this, this sort of black, twisting vine comes streaking out towards you. Um, hitting. AC 17. Uh, I will use the same arcane deflection feature, flashing my hand in front as green luminous scales seem to cover my left hand. And just sort of grab it and throw it away. All right. Um, this Going time. To have to do better than that. This time she turns to look at you. Make a wisdom save, Typhon. Okay. Can do that. Uh, is it a magical effect? That's a good question. Well. I guess it doesn't really matter anyway, as the the primary result was a twenty-one. Twenty-one and is also a enough. twenty-one if it would be advantage. So yeah, twenty-one is enough. Falkran, as I recall, you are prone. I am. She turns back to you and makes one attack at advantage. Oh man! Stop it! No, don't do it. Um, don't do it. Go and Don't you dare. <laughs> no, don't you dare. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> oh, top number is a 16. That, that max hit. That was max damage, too. Um, oh. Second attack. Oh. It's what? AC 22. I thought you said one attack. Oh, you must. Well, she, she makes one attack and then she makes another one. I was waiting to see if the first one dropped you. Uh, AC 22. Um, take not so bad on the damage. It, Sean, it, it won't matter. It oh, won't no. matter. Mm, dear. All right. Uh, so you, I take it a drop to zero. Oh, yeah. I've dropped to zero. Right. Very good. Okay. Oh, my God. What type of bargain am I going to have to make this? I know, time? right? Jesus. I just want to know. Do you have any idea Aldrin how many times I've carried her body? Aldrin is unconscious. Okay. Uh, I'm starting to think that there's something going on here. I'm starting to think that Falkran has like a mark, like a like some type like of like final destination. Something <laughs> like the gods of Faerun have said, "You're going down." Yeah. All right. Oh my gosh, Ryan. Oh. Uh, don't, uh. All right, so that's set for Falcon is unconscious. Um, next, okay. Second floor, they wait. They wait. And they don't rear mantle mourn. Uh, I think it's. Is that Rim next? I think it's me next. Did I, skip? I did skip Rim. Rim, you were next. Um, okay, so if I'm doing a massive dash, I think I can actually run 60 feet right next to. Uh, uh, next to. Um, Oh, you, I can't go through that door. That's the curtain, right? If I it's were a curtain, go, you can easily push, push it aside. What about this? This is a door to the north. Is that the correct? Door, opening a door is a free action. All right, I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna come to uh, Falcon's side here. Um, I can't uh, 
do you think I would be able to perceive her fallen and give her a or I can't administer a well, potion. All of this happens, all of this sort of, these things these happen sort of simultaneously. So for cinematic sake, let's say that you burst open the door just in time to see her falling. Oh, lovely. She, right. she, I mean, she was she was already down, so you burst open the door just in time to see this dagger come plunging down into her heart. I mean, oh. it's not the first time they've seen me dead. Uh, right. right, yeah, it's no problem. Um, so uh, I would like to uh, feed her my... Um, my potion All right, healing. so um, let's see. So you've moved twice. That's a dash, yeah. So this would be something I probably can't do this turn. Open. Uh, no, you are able to do that. I have said uh, oh. the, the, the house rule is, um, I believe I said, I'll have to look up what I said. Bonus action. Healing potion. Bonus action. Bonus so action. Taking, a, taking a potion on your own is a free action. Um, using a, Giving a potion to a fellow player is a bonus action so yeah even if they are rendered unconscious i can yep. like dump it down or throw all right yep. that is what fight i do him. don't fight him <laughs> uh, no, i just i want to make sure i understand the rules um that is what i will do i'm sure if we've made a mistake someone will let us know <laughs> uh what am i rolling for this 2d4 plus 4 okay 1d4 2d4 so it is going to be a total of nine points of damage nine removed. points of damage healed to falcon boneforge very good Don't you die on me <laughs> falcon it's your turn all right wait oh wait all right so i'm trying to bring myself back from the brink here uh, all right. So with the um, with the nine points of healing, am I conscious again? Yes. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. You immediately your eyes snap open, and you taste the taste of your own blood plus the bloody tang of the uh, potion. I am getting way too used to this. Oh. You're still prone, however. Yeah. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get myself uh, up. On your movement. And then, when you uh, went unconscious, I will go. Uh, your uh, filter weapon, of course, is blinked out. But I think it had. Oh yeah, no, anyway. it's yeah, it had blinked out a, a turn ago. Yeah. So, but thank you for remembering. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead, uh, stand up, and for the love of all that is holy, heal yourself. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I've been trying for three turns. I just keep getting murdered. Um, <laughs> I would really love for D and D Beyond. To I'm arrive. I'm over here doing cardio. Falkren's going down. Like I'm gonna run over here. I'm gonna run over there. I'm yeah. gonna run over here. <laughs> After this round, we will take our our break. By the way. Yeah, that's a, I'm I'm running down the hallway, and Falkren's getting crumpled up like a piece of paper. Yes. Again. Do you, so did that heal come through? Uh, it is for some reason D and D Beyond is not allowing me to access my second level heals because it's. Um, so what you're doing is if you if you click on the heal, uh, then check to make sure that it's not there's not a uh, another window that's opened up asking at what level you want to heal. Ah. Oh. Or anything yeah. like that. Meanwhile, um, Falcon fumbles with technology. Uh, well, let's see. Let's, let's just, okay. What, what, what are you trying to roll? Uh, I'm ch uh, trying to do cure wounds at second level, which I believe is just a. Was that? Uh, cure wounds at second level. Two d eight. Two d eight plus your wisdom modifier, which is a plus four. So I rolled. So that'll be twenty points of healing that you just got back. Oh. All right. I'll take that. Ooh. Anything to do with your bonus action? Uh, yes. For my bonus action, I would love to. Um, oh, bother. Um, I'm I'm not going to do anything with my bonus action because I can't figure out why it won't let me do. Um, yeah, no. So uh, I don't have a uh, access to any of my bonus actions just yet. So oh, do you wish to move? Um. No, because if I move, she'll be able to hit me, yes? Correct. 
Then, <laughs> no, sir. I shall stand right. back up, spit the blood out of my mouth, and be like, Round two. Round two. She hasn't got exactly. a reaction, so you can you could move if you wanted. No, she, she has it back. She has oh, she back. does. She got it back oh, now. Okay. Yeah. Um, that is the end of Falkrin's turn. Ooh, getting interesting now. Second floor guard continues to guard. Fedir Green continues to do nothing. Animated armor continues to do nothing. Ray of Mantlemorn runs to here. Begins conversing with the guards. Persephone. Um, can I still see the imp? Uh, you could see what's left of him. He's been <laughs> that's the same half. one that Jack yes. got. Okay. Um. No, that's the same one that Silas got. Silas got. Yeah. Silas Sorry. chopped him in half with his glaive. Don't get me wrong, Jax is known as the uh, imp slayer now, but that wasn't <laughs> the one I killed. No. Well, um, I don't see any way to uh, put out that fire because I can't use water. It's a grease fire, so there's not like a giant blanket I can pull off the wall, right? Hopefully, because it's a kitchen, there would be used to fire, so it would be kind of fireproof. Flour? <laughs> no, no, seriously, is there flour there? Is there a big is sack of flour that you could that you could cover the flame with? As long as it's not an enclosed space, because otherwise, flour is combustible. Oh, is it? In an enclosed space. Yeah. So, John. Uh, make a perception check. Just don't seven, don't tell Jack that. Um. <laughs> I got to twelve. Well, there are several sacks on the shelf to Silas's south that look like they could be flour. I mean, I'll give it a shot. So I'm gonna grab them, and I'm gonna take just some of one into like this closest square here and see if it helps. I'm so not you gonna, open like... it and you reach in, and it is sugar. However, there are two others. All right, then I'll look at the other. All right, the middle one. Open up another one. It is corn, popcorn kind of coming up. See exactly what this is. It doesn't. It doesn't feel like. Uh, it doesn't feel like um, uh, flour. It feels a bit like sugar, but with the smoke in here, it's difficult to tell what it is. Okay, the third one? Third one is flour. All right, do I still have enough action to try to put it here? Um, let's see, so you ran. Uh, no, you've been rummaging through bags, I'm afraid. That's okay. been your action. However, I will allow you to pass it to Silas. All right, that's my bonus action, I'll say. Try this. <laughs> Toss it over there. Super helpful turn, guys. Side of side side says, no, we need butter. We need uh, we need icy <laughs> sugar. <laughs> All right, so guys, okay, Captain Kyberin and his boy. So they're going to get to come down and make a couple of attacks because I've skipped them. So he goes through the door, comes to there. This fellow follows him, comes through the door. I thought that was there. a wall. No, there's a door right here. Oh, yeah, I see the door, but I thought the thing where they just passed through was a wall. Oh, no, it's a, it's a, um, oh. uh, a, what do you call? A curtain, did you say? Curtain, yeah. Sneaky All right, so they're going to make some attacks here. Well, that's a hit. Okay. And, okay, that's two hits, and ooh, one of them was pretty good. So she will have used another reaction to uh, absorb that damage. So I believe that is. That's okay. Good to know. All right. Um, that is their turn. Now, Silas. Culinary jokes aside, I'll do as requested. All right, um, you throw the flower onto the fire. Make a ranged attack, please. Uh, I would be glad to do that if I knew how to do that 
just ranged attack on so roll a d20 add your (laughs) dexterity bonus you are not proficient in improvised weapons so that i can do so 16 total 16 total the flower bursts but flower bag bursts right in the flame and scatters across the grease diminishing it significantly i love your flame icon uh range sean this is quite fun thanks um and that is the end of this round um and now we will take a break and we will see how this all finishes up 